Good evening, and thank you for joining the Refreshing Point. I hope that you are doing well. I would like to share with you why fermented red ginseng is more powerful than white, red, sun, or raw ginseng. Several studies from the past few years have confirmed Panax ginseng's numerous health benefits. Now we find these benefits can be boosted through fermentation. Recent studies have found that fermented ginseng has numerous health benefits, including anti-aging benefits and cancer prevention. For example, in a 2013 study from Korea's Seoul National University, researchers gave 93 postmenopausal women with insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, either fermented red ginseng, Panax ginseng, or a placebo for two weeks. The researchers found that the fermented red ginseng group had significantly increased levels of DHEA-S, higher levels of growth hormone, and higher levels of estradiol, and lower levels of glycosylated hemoglobin, indicating better glucose control. The fermented red ginseng group also exhibited signs of reduced insulin resistance. One of the issues with ginseng treatment and supplementation has been its variable effects. For some, ginseng is extremely effective for a number of conditions, including immunity, aging issues, and others. But others have found ginseng's effectiveness to be desired. Panax ginseng grows in North America and in Asia. It can either be air-dried, which results in what is called white ginseng, or it can be steamed at around 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 98 to 100 degrees Celsius, for two to three hours. This results in what is referred to as red ginseng, which has been found to have higher levels of phytochemicals than the white ginseng. Ginseng may also be steamed further at a higher temperature, at around 250 degrees Fahrenheit, 120 degrees Celsius. This is sold as sun ginseng. Panax ginseng is also sold as raw, fresh, not dried. Panax ginseng, white, red, sun, or raw, is considered an adaptogen as it boosts the immune system, along with boosting growth hormone and DHEA levels. It contains several ginsenicides, which have been shown to be higher in red ginseng than white ginseng. It also contains various other saponins, polyphenols, and flavonoids. The latest in a series of studies that has found more effects comes from the researchers at Korea's Dan Cook University. The study fermented what is commonly known as red ginseng with a mushroom fungi species known as Phalaenius lintius. The researchers found that the fermentation significantly increased the phytochemical content of the ginseng as well as its antioxidant and healing capabilities. The researchers found the fermentation increased one of the main ginseng constituents, called ginsenicides, by nearly 20%. More importantly, its ginsenicide metabolites were more than doubled by the fermentation process. The study also found that the overall polyphenol content of the fermented ginseng was about 37% higher than the raw root. The researchers then tested the anti-cancer properties that ginseng has been known for using the fermented and the unfermented ginseng. The researchers found that the fermented ginseng significantly inhibited the growth of lung tumors in mice by over 80% compared to the non-fermented tumor inhibition at 67%. The researchers also tested the fermented ginseng extract against human blood and found it boosted 
immunoglobulin A and G levels among healthy human subjects, significantly more than did the non-fermented ginseng. Ginseng has long been used to treat various ailments, and now with new research, we know that these benefits can be boosted even more through fermentation. Thank you so much for watching. Good day and good health.